Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time, and today we are looking at this guy from Moman, and it's the Matrix 600S, and I think it's cool. If you've been on this channel, uh, you will know that I use the uh, Fit World um, um, monitors, actually the seven, two seven inches, and I had come to love them. I know they're not the greatest, but I love them for the price and the fact that there's a good balance of everything I need. Um, ultra brightness, which is the most important. And um, I've been rocking that for a while, but when I got the Ursa 12K, I had to think again, because the Ursa don't have HDMI, only SDI which is more reliable, but I don't have an SDI monitor. So I had to improvise. There's also an affordable fee world SDI version. Uh, I don't want to get it because I would actually at some point get um, a real, well, not a real, but a, a, be, a much better monitor because I would need it uh, during my movie shoot which uh, I won't want to compromise um, price for. So, but for now, until I'm at that point of shoot, I probably, and who knows, I may even have those things available because I'm going to be working with other people who has gears as well. So I may not be needing it for my own personal project. So I thought about what I do know I will need is transmitter. And that's why I got this guy. And the good thing about this is it, it can, it converts my SDI to, to HDMI so that um, I don't need to um, do anything and change my monitor. It's, it's going to transmit and it's got almost zero latencies, uh, milliseconds, like 0 0.8 milliseconds or 0 0.08. I'll probably write it on the screen, but it is very low, barely noticeable, which is why it's good. I already have it set up, so you see how I set it up. Every transmitter, um, video transmitter need an antenna to be effective. The, the, the bigger, the longer the antenna, the more powerful it should be. And so you could guess that this doesn't have an antenna, but they say they have it inside just to um, minimize the space. Now, many people may say, it is still not long enough. It still needs to be stronger, but this thing covers 600 feet, um, uh, feet distance, which is a lot more than any Holy Land I've used, and I've used to anyway. Um, but it, it goes a wide range, you know, and for that 600, it does work um, for line of sight at least. Um, closer, it can go through walls, and um, next door or stuff like that, you could you could you could use it in the, in a house, anywhere in a house, and this thing will actually control your units or transmit the video quite all right. But um, the further you go, the less it becomes. But line of sight, 600 feet, yes, it does it. This is the setup. All I have to do now, I've got them mounted. I don't have to mount it here. Uh, if depending on on what uh, I'm doing. I know the good thing is that I could have a monitor here. I could have a monitor here and still have another monitor connected like a slave from this one and uh, uh, and sent. Like if I need to do a bigger screen, I can do that. I can actually take this off and have it, um, this whole unit. It could be a big screen, 45, 50, 75 inch screen. And this whole unit comes out and go stay somewhere else and then the camera guy will be able to use uh, the side monitor depending on you could also have a monitor here and still slave it to the other one either way the idea is you don't feel the uh, absent of the sdi now it's best to have um, a monitor that's already connected to the sdi i wouldn't argue that but I'm not feeling buying and buying and buying and buying what you need and don't need and you know keep doing the same process. So I'm rocking this for the meantime 
Uh, if you ask me, the price of this and this together still is cheaper than the professional that I want to have. The minimum I want to go is uh, it's the um, Black Magic 7G, which is like 9.95, over a thousand bucks plus tax. Um, then again, there's the HD small HD monitor, which is also very good. Uh, only less uh, nits, less uh, uh, not as bright uh, nits, but very good. That's a thousand plus, you know. So, which uh, I think when I'm ready, I'll, I'll go for the um, Black Magic because this is Black Magic, okay? So, um, this is the setup. This is how I rock it. It's been working great so far. I, you know, it's barely noticeable that anything adds, you know. You can you can see it's powered here, and the unit actually takes uh, takes light batteries. And if if you want to run power from this unit, like a USB power to this device, it's got a U USB port as well, and you can power that. You can power this device from 5 volts, which is this is giving right now, up to about 16 volts, which is very good. It's like you can power it from a VMAT battery. So power options, this guy is good to go. I love it. Um, what else again? So I'm connected. Uh, I have my HDMI connected to the device. Let me show you. And I'm sure I have some B-roll for you guys. Focus pull, I'm pulling, uh, this is a manual lens of course, so I'm pulling uh, focus from, um, I had to pull focus from this anyway. Um, Moza Air, oh my god. You guys remember I used to rock the Moza Gimbal, Moza Air 2? Yeah, um, this guy, I still rock it, I keep using and it's still useful to me. Um, so I'm not getting anything else yet. I can mount this to the monitor and focus, pull focus from there. And when I'm using this rig, then this unit will be attached to this um, as it is attached to the Pocket 6K right now. Okay, so this is the VMAT battery. Let's get in, in frame. Now this is my power. I uh, always like this guy with the power on. Now, if I'm not powering the monitor from the V-mount and I want to have it as a separate unit, all I have to do is slide it out. This is a separate unit, all still powered. All I have to do is get the power for this. So this becomes a standalone unit that can be, that I can still use away from the unit or it could be a bigger screen. Um, okay, I know I'm not in focus, okay? Uh, or it could be a bigger screen that I can, you know, that the entire, you know, crew can use on set or the director can use as monitor and see what's going on. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, that's the setup. It's about three, well, it's about 400 bucks though. Um, the Free World, I didn't have to buy. You remember, it was uh, given to me for review. Uh, when it is convenient, when I really see the need, um, then I will get uh, the Blackmagic 7-inch 12G, okay? That's what I have in mind to add to this guy and then will be a complete unit. But I just wanted to share with you how my rig look now, uh, like an update. I hope uh, somebody learned something from this. You can rock, um, I I've seen a lot of people use uh, a big unit. Uh, what is it called uh, from black magic does um, does the same conversion um, with a little bit of power he uses power from the vmat battery a little bit i mean it works if you want it that way but i just thought that this is a lot better by the way that price is about 50 bucks cheap but i just felt like this guy will transmit the images as well and it's gonna give me a setup that I can, you know, work with. You can actually pull focus with this unit, at least on my indie level, I can pull focus with it and it's barely noticeable. So I'm happy with it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, um, comment, feedback. It's always appreciated. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.